a video made by a YouTuber called Sephanarion or something like that. Sephanarion or something like that. And that person has uh, basically tried to strawman the idea of men going their own way by focusing uh, probably not on one of its brightest members, if you could consider the person a member at all. But the person styles himself uh, as a MGTOW, calls himself Angry MGTOW. I have no contact with that person. I saw a few cringeworthy seconds of a few cringeworthy videos and never subscribed to the channel, never followed it. I never got the hang why people actually do uh, feel the need to listen to this, but obviously there's a market for all kinds of bullshit out there. Alexander Mickey Boo. Alexander Mickey Boo. <laughs> that was so cute. He pretended not to know my name, even though he worked so hard to make me a 30 minute PowerPoint presentation. I also enjoyed his little rant about not even knowing or associating with Angry MGTOW. Oh, my baby boy Alex is so passive aggressive. But don't worry, Pumpkin. It's your way of showing me that you don't care when deep down inside you really do. You see, I understand that my MGTOW son doesn't express his anger or displeasure in an open manner. Now son, you seem to be lacking in any assertive qualities that would aid in your ability to effectively speak out or stand up for yourself. If I had to guess, that's probably what happened in your personal life and you found yourself constantly taken advantage of, probably by predatorial women trying to use you or simply toy with you. That makes me feel bad for you as I understand you probably have years of resentment, anger and bitterness building up behind that false smile of yours. But don't worry baby boy, Daddy Zeph is going to help you get through puberty and I'll try not to make you feel too much like a little girl. And according to Zephanarion's definition, MGTOW is as follows. Continuous masturbation and if MGTOWs don't masturbate, they somehow dream about murdering all women. Well, I don't remember ever saying anything about a masturbation requirement, so I am going to have to point out your straw man argument. But I am glad to hear that you yourself are vigorously masturbating every single day. With your every stroke and squirt, you help keep the sock industry booming, which in turn helps our economy. I tip my hat to you, sir. Now what does the orange pill do? The orange pill is, you know, something different. It's better than the red pill. Uh, first of all, it turns you into an irresistible alpha male who will dominate uh, all the women around you. Um, it will make you stand above the fucking law. I'm really beginning to think it may be hard for you to pay attention. I'm not even talking about minute details or information that could be easily overlooked. I honestly don't think you'd even notice an asteroid the size of the moon plummeting towards Earth. You'd be dead for decades before your cognitive process caught up to what has happened. Seriously, not only have you failed at being satirical, given of course you were even trying to be funny in the first place, but you fabricated the worst straw man argument that has ever been created. I almost want to say that you were being sarcastic, but given your rather boring monotone delivery, then I could easily take your entire video as just one poorly made passive aggressive PowerPoint presentation that seems to be filled with so many logical fallacies and paternal sexual projections. And that the girlfriend and mommy are two different things. And you cannot expect the very same kind of unconditional affection from any girlfriend that you receive, let's say, from your mother. The mommy, looking for mommy. Wow, you seem to have an unlimited supply of straw man arguments, that's for sure. First off, the orange pill, much like red pill, is not a real philosophy. It's what I think to be a common sense approach to debunking MGTOW ideology while offering an alternative approach to MGTOW itself. 
The orange pill itself is just as satirical as the red pill. And yes, I just called the red pill a work of satire. Given that you MGTARDs decided to use the red pill from a film called The Matrix, which is not only a work of fiction, but even in that work of fiction, the red pill represents Neo's journey outside the Matrix in order to pursue a relationship with Trinity, aka the woman he loves and the very reason he took the red pill in the first place. So yes, MGTOW men taking the red pill to avoid relationships when it's meant to pursue a relationship is the funniest work of satire that you MIGMUFFs have ever come up with. Unlike the severely MIGTARDED, I never actually imagined myself donning a black leather outfit and valiantly fighting the gynocentric matrix of control. You know, that's, that's a lot of promise for what is essentially an invisible product. So, I mean, if you look at this website, I mean, come on, somebody who uses the word Alpha so often should have found maybe a different, uh, you know, maybe a different domain. <laughs> okay, first off, I used the word alpha like twice in my first video. I used it to describe what I felt to be a positive method of behavior and I was not attributing that description to anyone, not even myself. Which points out yet another straw man when you attempted to be comical when reviewing my minds page. However, you did succeed in being funny, but not in the way that you hoped. You sort of became the joke instead of the comedian who delivered it. You seem to remind me of that tech support guy I usually get on the phone, especially when you referred to my minds profile as my website. And went even further to assert that I should have picked a better domain for my website that I don't even own or control. You do know what a social network is, don't you? <laughs> Basically what you did was so stupid it's the equivalent of doing the same thing to you with the with the YouTube logo. Oh my god, he's so stupid. So he, he goes and makes a website and calls it YouTube when he should have called it MyTube or, or AlexTube or, or something like that, you know? I mean, it's totally not a social network where he just, he participates alongside everybody else. I mean, he totally owns the YouTube domain name and, you know, I, I just realized that my entire argument is completely fucking retarded. Maybe I should have thought of this shit before I actually published my video. Now, the first issue is, um, what actually does alpha male mean? He doesn't answer the question. Well, you never asked the question, but I'll go ahead and answer it anyway. An alpha male is the opposite of you. And that monogamy as such cannot be implemented neither by force nor contract. Uh, other than that, who should enforce this? I mean, would the police what do what exactly? Would the police would force the woman to make sandwiches? Or would the police, uh, you know, capture the woman and bring her back when she decides to leave? Once again, you attempt to use a straw man argument by misrepresenting what I said about individual partnership contracts, which later you spend a large portion of time trying to debunk the prenuptial agreement, which I never once claimed the validity of, let alone marriage. I was referring to partnership contracts, which could be disguised as employment contracts, which are still legally viable. Since you have no understanding of nuance, then I wouldn't expect you to understand the concept of using the legal system to covertly subvert the family family courts, in order for a man or woman to protect what assets and resources they have. I'm amazed that MGTOW hasn't picked up on this practice. You MIGGIES seem so entranced by negative testimony that you really don't seek any viable solutions now do you? Also it has to be considered that, you know, having a lot of children sounds nice, but reproduction doesn't end with making a woman pregnant. The whole reproductive cycle in humans actually is quite complex um, and quite long. Yeah. Reproduction and raising children is a difficult process, which obviously contributes to a MGTOW's desire to opt out of that process and or look for the escape hatch as soon as possible. An orange pill man like me would accept my role as a father and not seek to escape the first chance I get. I'm not saying, nor have I ever said, that anyone should be jumping towards marriage or reproduction. Unlike the Mig Muffy and MGTARDs that I debate, I don't try to influence anyone's personal life. If you choose to be a drain on society, then by all means continue to have a loser defeatist mindset. But don't expect anyone to give you any titles of recognition, much less any respect. I mean, this orange pill, um, you know, is ignoring all of human history. You cannot just nitpick some kind of reproduction, uh, you know, arrangement 
from the past and transform it into the future or even the present. So, if the orange pill is ignoring human history, then how is it taking something from human history and trying to inject it into the present or future? Your statement was poorly constructed, but I'll respond to it anyways. Humanity, while it may not be perfect and still has room to evolve, has been surviving quite well this entire time without the need for MGTOW philosophy. In fact, I don't ever recall MGTOW being responsible for the innovations that exist today. So what makes you think that anyone needs or even wants your defeatist philosophy? Um, then of course there is the opposition to subjectivity and imagination. Um, basically the opposition to anything you might term creative, free-thinking, or even rational. I didn't mention anything in regards to creative thinking, freedom of thought, imagination, but yet again you attempt not only to straw man my argument, but also used a red herring as well, by attempting to distract the audience from the topic at hand by introducing subject matter unrelated to the original argument. On top of that, you attempted the ad hominem fallacy by using your straw man red herring combo to paint the picture that I was against an individual's rights and freedoms. Since you attempted to deceive your audience with conjecture, then do allow me to respond in kind with absolute truth. You are an intellectually lazy, no-talent hack that lacks the rudimentary skills to properly hold yourself up in a debate, let alone make a decent YouTube video. In addition to that, you seek to insult the intelligence of not only your audience, but my audience as well. And for that, Daddy Zeff will always be happy to spank that dishonest ass. You know, all women concern about sexual practices, everything that's unconventional, everything that's not the missionary position so as to have said offspring, uh, but everything that is for f some other kind of frivolity or sexual gratification. And that this is, of course, something bad, and that is something that needs to be uh, fought against, that it needs to be wrestled down. You seem to be obsessed with sex primarily surrounding your paranoid fear that the satirical orange pill will rob you of your sexual freedom, somehow. Sexual behavior was never mentioned in my original orange pill video, and yet you seem keen on defending some philia that we have yet to discover. I care not what you do in your bedroom, or what anyone else does for that matter, but I will ask you one favor. When you're done letting that donkey fuck you in the ass, could you please pick up its droppings? I just had the floors cleaned, okay? Thanks, Pumpkin. When we look at the uh, personality and cognitive style, we have self-glorification. I think that's quite self-evident. Somebody who styles himself as this unknowing person who has this secret knowledge with, you know, millions of men haven't figured it out. I'm a fucking cartoon character on YouTube, you dimwit. I've made videos where intergalactic Miggy cats are invading the Earth. The playlist section on my YouTube channel homepage is called Masturbatory Introspections. Let's not forget your inability to understand the concept of an online avatar, a character, a colorful persona. Clearly you're not too keen on performance arts or any forms of entertainment for that matter. Seriously, dude. Take a, take a step back for a second and really think about this. You're trying to psychoanalyze a cartoon character on YouTube, okay? A persona that I made up for my YouTube channel. On top of that, you're failing miserably at it. I, uh, I, I don't think you get it. Okay, Zephanorian is a fictional character. Now, the subject matter may be real, and the debate may be real, but the character of Zephanorian is not real. Almost stereotypical, uh, you know, assumption of a fatherly figure when that YouTuber uh, in the comment sections that we shall, shall see later on styles himself that he's the daddy and he's spanking all those kids on YouTube because, uh, you know. So this, this is a very conventional image of uh, what a father is. Wait a minute, are you the guy from my comments section where I said I'm daddy's a- Did you get triggered? It is you. Holy shit. You made a 30 minute presentation because I triggered you? Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to find out what, what you say next. Um, because you see, that is a kind of aggression. I mean, you would very quickly find out that Angry MGTOW is not really speaking for the community as a total. 
Wait, so let me summarize your overall point here. You're going with a no true Scotsman fallacy trying to distance yourself from angry MGTARD, while at the same time assuming that MGTOW is receiving quote unquote aggression? I must have missed something here. Has anyone punched you in the nuts or kicked down your door and dragged you out of your home? Are MGTOW now being hunted in the streets? Or are you acting like a feminist and claiming that you've been emotionally and verbally raped? You, sir, and by evidence of your avatar, are a complete pussy. So, but, you know, there is obviously this need to have an enemy to declare a war on. And that usually has to do with a very deficient upbringing. Um, and that deficient upbringing usually not just includes the lack of a father, but it also includes an overbearing and dominant uber-mother. I am the uber mother. Do you want uber milk from my uber titty? Whoa, holy fucking shit. Is something wrong? Nothing, you totally snuck up on me. Jesus fucking Christ. Have you been working out again? Of course. I am the uber mother. I must stay healthy and strong to raise the uber baby. Please don't call me that. What's wrong with that? Don't you want to be the uber baby? Nah, not really. I'm cool with just being a baby, thank you. Is my baby hungry? Actually, yeah. Thanks for asking. Suck on my uber titties. Uh, no, I'm cool. On second thought, I'm no longer hungry. Why? Uh, I'm on a diet. When did you go on this diet? About ten seconds ago when you freaked me right the fuck out. What? Why are you staring at me? Hello? Can I respond? Suck on my uber titties. So, what at first appeared to be a response video supporting MGTOW with the attempt at debunking my orange pill quickly turned into a rather sad display of inferiority complex coupled with a resounding temper tantrum from a child trapped in a grown man's body. The entire reason for Alexander's response video became obvious as I continued to watch his video. Now keep in mind I had to edit down this next section since his original video was an exhaustive projection ridden diatribe of how I Zef am not his daddy and how dare I call myself his daddy, also that I'm not the boss of him and should have never told him to clean his room. This is the funniest triggering in the comments section I have ever had the pleasure to participate in. It's same old, same old. And you can actually see that between the lines, um, when you see the, all the references, we need to talk about your feel wins and your uchi boo-boos. Then the self-styling himself as, you know, Daddy Zef, you know, wants you to clean your room. <laughs> my dad actually didn't give a fuck about my fucking room. Then there is, of course, you know, references to things like cuck. And that's why he even makes a fucking reference that he actually has a girlfriend. Like, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I hope she enjoys the time with him have to pluck uh, from their hands, say thank you daddy, and then consume it. These neo-masculists, particularly that individual we discussed here and analyzed here a bit, so they might appear smug on the outside or might, you know, style themselves as, you know, real man or strong man or whatever, these deranged masculine identities can take a very bad turn. This is the foundation on which you have the kind of serial killers and all sorts of, you know, political assassins, perpetrators of hate crimes. Assumption of a fatherly figure in the comment section styles himself that he's the daddy and he's looking for daddy Zev and mommy still obsessed with you know, daddy Zev and this talk about, you know, masturbation. Either you accept this and move on or you will be in a constant state of masturbation up to the point where one of you reaches breaking point or you as a tiny puny individual still obsessed with you know, daddy zef blunt cock uh, or at least spanked repressed sexual impulses with men with women to cover up a lot of masturbation overly aggressive tone but you don't look good while you're doing it that's the problem <laughs> so it all becomes clear. The satirical girlfriend that I mentioned in the comment section, you know, the one who had sex with a gang of midgets, seems to have struck the lonely feel winds of Alexander Migtard. It's okay, Alexander Miggy. You're my big boy, and one day you'll start growing hair in strange places and you'll start liking girls. Soon you'll have your own midget fucking gyno slut to call your own. Until then, make sure you get that room clean, okay? Or Daddy Zef is going to have to lay down the heavy hammer. 
With that being said, let's address Alexander Migtard's strawman argument of neo-masculinity, where he makes the claim that not only am I a tradcon who supports marriage, apparently someone wasn't paying attention in class during the first video, but that I'm also trying to instill a traditional westernized view of how society should operate. When, not one time, have I ever claimed to support traditionalism in any way? But as usual, MGTARDED Mickey cats are quick to assumption when an argument is not licking the balls of MGTOW philosophy. So basically, the MIGMUFF who seems to be yelling STRAW MAN ARGUMENT from the rooftop of his double wide trailer is actually the one that has used nothing but straw man arguments throughout his entire video. Now, as for a man exhibiting masculine traits in modern society, why would that necessarily be a bad thing? Unlike MGTOW, I'm not claiming that having such traits would be useful in the coming gynocentric apocalypse. However, modern society itself does not protect you from the urban and non-urban environments on this planet, especially around some of those people who populate and traverse those very environments. It's the very reason why we still need soldiers, cops, and security guards. Because humanity, when left unchecked, will eat itself alive. This has been proven many times throughout history, when kings fell or when governments crumbled. One of those periods was called the Dark Ages, I'm sure you remember this. This occurred right after Rome fell and one of the contributing factors was that the Edict of Milan legalized Christianity in 313 and it later became the state religion in 380. Now I know there were other contributing factors to the fall of Rome, but I assert that belief is the driving force in the lives of every individual, just as MGTOW philosophy is the driving force behind the MGTOW movement. You can even see the signs of their overt religious behavior as MGTOWs seek to convert other men to their movement while using the same jargon and speech patterns that you would find in any church. As for neo-masculinity, it's the masculine authoritative presence and influence that keeps society in check. Just because mankind has a certain level of technology, knowledge, and modern social structures does not mean that we should start redefining the genders and the roles that those genders play. Our very biology has established that for us. And while I understand there may be a few exceptions to the rule which could easily be explained as adaptation or evolution, and don't for one second try to make the claim that you you've somehow mentally evolved and that MGTOW is a reflection of that evolution. Usually the adaptation or mutation would be beneficial to the survival and to the advantage of the evolving life form. Evolution does not simply take an existing life form already successful at survival and then de-evolve them into ineffective masturbators who play the victim card. Redefining gender roles regardless of the gender of origin would just be feminism and social justice 2.0. For a movement of men that would shout their hatred of feminism on the tops of the highest mountains, you Miggies sure do sound like them. You see, if it's so easy as a man to be threatened by other men just having their own life, then your male identity is very, very weak. That was well said, Alexander. I'm very proud of you. But do you not see the irony in what you just said? You claimed that anyone who is not MGTOW, or specifically anyone like me who offers an alternative opinion to MGTOW, or simply challenges the pseudoscience, assumptions, and generalizations that the MGTOW movement constantly makes as threatening your way of life, your statement is valid, but only if you turn the tables around. MGTOW YouTubers do not have immature children spazzing out in their comments section like epileptic retards drunken with insatiable anger boners. MGTOW YouTubers don't get their videos false flagged by those who are struck with absolute fear of any opposing opinion. MGTOW YouTubers don't have my like to dislike ratio simply because a few diaper wearing micro penises couldn't take a fucking joke. The MGTOW movement has no integrity, philosophy, or any actual merits to stand on anymore. MGTOW has lost its dignity and respect and has since become the second wave of social justice warriors. You are now the new batshit crazy bitches with dicks that we will all enjoy laughing at. So you might as well start coloring your hair blue or red and seek audience at the United Nations because I'm certainly not the first or last YouTuber that's going to spank your Mickey ass. What you just experienced is just the beginning. 
But do be aware, we have all learned from our mistakes when dealing with your social justice predecessors. We all have several backup channels now, servers, and at least three backup plans as we anticipate that the MGTARD hordes will soon start throwing the biggest temper tantrum that mankind has ever witnessed. Only this time it's going to be an onslaught from our end. Miggy will betray Miggy. Eyes and gym memberships will be opened. Junk food thrown away. Counseling appointments will be made and our landfills will be filled with the lost fat of the MGTOW movement. You can almost say it's going to be biblical. That's all for now. Remember to spank that dislike button the way I just spanked Alexander Migmuff just a few minutes ago. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're looking to get triggered in the future. You can also false flag my social media accounts as well by looking in the description below. Though you may have to take your hands off your dick and click the mouse. To my audience of loyal human worm monkeys, this has been your dose of orange pill. And to my stubborn child, Alexander Migtard, this has been your dose of orange suppository. Take care.